Testing, testing, we got the cater. <laughs> What's up YouTube? What is something I say in every single one of my videos? Let me know what you guys want to see next. If it's within reason and it's doable, I can make it happen. So today's video, a lot of you guys wanted to see a more in-depth garage tour and a more in-depth look at my bowling ball stash. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, don't get to see Stephanie. Okay. We're gonna start with the thing that takes up the most space in our garage, but it's also like Chris's prized possession, so it's fine. Brut. Brut. <laughs> we have the Shelby. If that design looks familiar, it's because it's on one of my jerseys, featuring a Baymax. Look at how cute his bucket hat is. You guys can also get the matching jersey to that on Coolwick and use Zavala 10. Okay, moving on. You can open it if you want. Ooh, we got permission to open it, guys. Excuse me, buddy. All right, I've never actually been able to drive. Hey. I am learning. The boys want to get in so hey. bad. We're not going. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not going in there today. Okay, so I have been able to sit in here. All righty, let me see. We've got... Cool little Shelby signature in there. Ooh, we got a vice chamois in there. Chris has a roll cage in here. Um, yeah, it goes very fast. This is definitely Chris's thing, not mine. I enjoy sitting passenger princess. I even struggle getting out, guys. It is very low to the ground. It used to be on bags, but now it's what? Now, now, now it's now it's not on bags but what did what is it your uh what was 859 oh, horsepower. his horsepower 859 oh, yeah. the, whipple. the whipple oh yeah somebody shout out to the guy who asked to see the whipple we're gonna i don't even know what that is hang on chris you're you're in charge yeah he is uh, very ashamed at how dirty his car is currently but all right let's let's see he even has like Oh, that big thing. Okay, I was like, what am I looking at? Where is the Whipple? I just like that his like coolant is a different color. It's very aesthetically pleasing. But that's the car. Now we're gonna go over to my corner because he did get that for me. So fancy new drum press. Shout out to Vice, shout out to Cecil, shout out to everybody who made this possible for us. We went back and forth so many times, making sure we had the right outlets, the right space, the right everything. But it's perfect, it's wonderful. Everybody loves a fresh drill press, so super cool to have that. Oh yeah, and we have our own control panel. The amount of people who messaged me on Instagram when I posted like a, we were in the middle of construction, like our electrician was still here, like the, the panel just had not gone on yet, but the amount of people that messaged me saying, you better throw a panel on that, you better throw a cover on it. Appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Really Thank really you nice. for looking out for me, but I kid you not, I had like 15 people message me. Okay, before we show you how bad Chris's OCD is, we have some storage area over here. I got the red buckets and Chris got the black buckets. And something super cool I got for Christmas in like 21. It like randomly showed up on my doorstep one day. So thank you so much to Bowler X. Babe, can you hold this? They gifted all their staffers this super cool poster board of everyone. There's me. And slowly but surely trying to get everybody's signature. Um, I have a few of the men because the tour stop came when we had our pro shop and it was at the same center. So I was able to get some people here, but if you're nearby and you're on Bowler X, let me know so I can bring this for you guys to sign it. But I thought that was a super cool little present from them. So thank you very much. And all right, guys, we're going to show you the toolbox. Somebody commented they wanted to see inside of it. And so we're just gonna, don't be surprised by anything that's in here. 
top drawer, excuse me. He's, he's working. We've got all the bowling stuff. Everything that Chris could possibly need to drill my stuff. All right, and let's just organization at its finest. Chris knows exactly where everything is. If you ask him to find anything in the world, he just, everything, hang on, there was one drawer that I thought was like super impressive. Let me see. Yeah, this one's satisfying. That one's a good one. Got more bowling stuff in this one, I think. Maybe, I don't know. All right, top of the tabletop, let's see. We are working on a super cool video for Patreon. If you guys are not subscribed there, you guys should probably do that within the next second or two because we're talking layouts and if you guys want a more in-depth explanation. And while I'm over here, something that I think is at least intriguing a little bit or could be intriguing to others. For all of our major events, we get topography charts. I know there was a lot of talk about topography in the past couple years. So they look like this and it covers every single lane in the bowling alley and they all are different. And if you guys want a more in-depth look at what a lane chart is, a topography chart, how to read them, how to understand them, what they even mean. That's something else that you guys can find on my Patreon, so stay tuned for that one. Chris did also just buy me a whole bunch of super cool new vlogging equipment and also got a new mic. Someone said that the audio on like the first couple videos was a little bit rough. I heard you, we listened. We got a new microphone, so let me know if this one is sounding better. I really hope it is, fingers crossed. And then I'm gonna tease for the last time before they go public. Drop number two of my limited trading card series. These are memorabilia oriented. I am super excited for you guys to see these because they have a game worn jersey inside of them. So make sure you guys go check out my Shopify to grab that. All right, before we finish at the bowling ball stash, I do wanna say a very quick thank you, but extremely heartfelt to everyone that has bought one of my trading cards. Season is very expensive. It's not an easy lifestyle by any means. So all the proceeds are going towards helping me be out there full time. And at the same time, just a way to really give back to my fans. And I just want you guys to know you mean the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys have made it to the end of the video, it's what you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna walk you through the stash. Brute's hungry. Brute, are you hungry? He's giving me the look. I think it might be lunchtime. Okay, top shelf is all the new inbox. And we're gonna start with like the no brainers. These three, obviously, the Zen Master Wolverine, Pink Fury. Got an intensity back there. This does go pretty far back. We got a spare ball on deck. We even have a spare tire, couple intensities. Have one of these. Storm came out with that a few years back. We managed to snag a couple of them. And then moving down here, I'll go to the spare ball row. Have all of the cool ones. Hi, buddy. I know, it's lunchtime. Give me a second. All righty. All, <laughs> brood. Oh. all of the spare balls. And then on this row behind that, we have all my honey badgers. I am absolutely obsessed with the honey badger line. It's my super favorite. I'm really upset it got discontinued. Oh. But I, excuse me, buddy. We're trying to talk to the people of YouTube. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, bro. Okay. I, um, if you guys have a honey badger that I don't have, please let me know how much you want for it because I am on a mission to have every honey badger ever. 
I think I have Ooh. all the stateside ones, but missing a couple of the overseas. Ooh. So let me know if you have any of those. And then in the totes in the middle there, Ooh. what do we have? We have um, just like the interchangeable, like the practice stuff, the tour potentials that, you know, aren't fully locked, but they're all drilled in that row right there. And honestly, Ooh. we try not to put too many games on my tour bag at least you know hold off as much as we can so we do practice with everything that that's on that shelf and then i'll go ahead and wrap it up with brute i know you're hungry give me a second uh we are making a few adjustments to the tour bag so stay tuned for that video and again patreon we'll see it first so if you guys want to know the inside scoop, make sure you subscribe to my Patreon. And I think we're gonna wrap up that garage tour. Say bye. <laughs> he, just wants me to see. he wants me to get out of here so he can get back to work drilling my stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And again, just tell me what you guys wanna see and I will do my very best to put out that content for you. Brute Brisky, say bye. <laughs>